Hello there everybody, so Bono Night 2 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Now, one thing I completely let slip from my mind is that there is one more love hotel that we have not got to experience yet. And, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's everybody's favorite little liar that we have still not really got to see what his love hotel is. There we go! Okay, finally. Let's see what you are all about. Every time I come here, I play the rule of their ideal. Like some shared fantasy. Kokichi's fantasy. I can only imagine how insane this will get. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's been a while since I landed into trouble like this. Huh? Trouble? Trapping me in a place like this. That's very like you, Mr. Detective. So I'm still a detective in his fantasy? Am I supposed to be chasing him? But... But I won't tell you where I hid the stolen gem. Torture won't work either, you know. Wait! I I'm not going to torture you. What exactly do you think a detective does? You're planning on tying and roughing up my body, aren't you? That's why there's a bed, huh? Hey! N no You've got it all wrong! Why? Eh? But isn't that what happens to a phantom thief when they're caught? You know, because this is Persona 5, don't you understand? Huh? A phantom thief. <laughs> oh my god, if he had a freaking Persona, it would definitely be freaking Loki. But you know, if you're into some crazy kinks like Korokio, even I won't be able to keep up. That's not true. I, I said you've got it wrong. No, wait a minute. We shouldn't be arguing. I'm in Kokichi's fantasy. I should calm down and play along. All right. So Kokichi is a phantom thief, is he? Hey. I'm not going to do anything to you. From here out, you're the cop's problem. If you're trying to rile me up to give yourself a chance to escape, no dice, Kokichi. Did I get caught? Oh, figured it out already. Jeez, I was willing to let you do whatever you want to me. Since I love you, Shuichi. Wow. But wow, you even researched my name. My identity is bare and naked for your eyes only. But... K Kokichi, did you just call me Shuichi? Yeah. Yeah, well, looking up your name was a piece of cake. Ah, so I'm not a different person here. I'm me and Kokichi is Kokichi. I know I'm supposed to be his ideal, but even when he tells me he loves me, I can't help but think he means the opposite. You know what? I'm starting to think he's being serious. <laughs> if you're not going to do anything, then maybe I will. Before my mind even had a chance to process it, Kokichi's grin was upon me. Uh. Uh, hey! I stepped back reflexively. I had no idea what he was capable of. Hey. No need to be scared. What did you think I was going to do to you? Because... Uh, I'm simply being cautious. We aren't exactly friends, Kokichi. Are we? This whole situation is too strange for me to get my bearings. Having this kind of conversation only makes it harder to know why I'm here. Jeez, don't be so cold to me. You've been chasing after me for so long. The stealing part doesn't excite me as much as being pursued by you, you know. Oh, man. Don't you feel the same, Shuichi? You weren't bored playing with me, were you? That's... Uh, well, I wouldn't say... <laughs> well... I don't care what you think anyway. Because you just do as you please, don't you, Kokichi? Ah. Are you mad because I toyed with you? Uh, don't worry. I'm always thinking about you. You are always trying your best to catch me. I really have to give it my all to win. But... You seem to be rather enjoying this for a cornered criminal. Yeah. Because the game's not over yet. Don't you realize? This is the love hotel. Let's get banging. Shuichi. Hmm? Hey, Shuichi. What would you do if I told you that I wanted you to catch me? Huh? Huh? It's true. 
there's a transmitter on my body, so my friends probably have this place around it already. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you'll be the one getting all tied and roughed up, Shuiji. Huh? That's not... possible, right? It couldn't be. I was taken off guard by Kokichi's words, but then I remembered our roles. Wait! Kokichi, your lies don't work on me. Aww. Aww. You're... Up at all. I thought you would be more excited. Whoopsie. That's too bad. I really wanted your eyes to be on me. To be honest, I actually don't doubt that for a second. I thought you didn't care about how I felt. That was a lie. You know, since I'm a liar. But when I said I wanted you to catch me, that was definitely not a lie. What do you mean? It means you can do whatever you want to me. And that's the truth. Ah. Huh. Come, play with me. Let's do a lot more together. Kokiji moved toward me. For every step he took, I took one back, but my feet hit the bed. Kokichi! But Kokichi wasn't listening at all. He pushed me hard onto the bed. Kokichi, wait! Wait! Just kidding. Did I get ya? What? Kokichi didn't answer as he sprinted toward the exit. Kokichi, stop right there! I tried to give chase, but my knees are weak as I tumbled off the bed. We are mortal enemies in this fantasy, but still... Kokichi couldn't be leaving. I caught myself wishing he would stay before I smothered the thought. <laughs> that was pretty fun. See ya, Shuichi. I'll think of a more exciting game for next time. So make sure you excite me too. Kokichi turned his back to me with a flourish and placed his hand on the door. This game went from me being absolutely hating Kokichi to now me being absolutely interested in his character. What the fuck? Is that good story writing or just... No shit, that is good story writing. What the hell? Last night with Kokichi. Was that a dream? I can't even figure him out in my dreams. No, neither can I, honestly, but... Damn it, I'm a I actually like his character even more now. What the shit? Kind of makes me think that he really does just have a thing for Shuichi, which, you know what? I ain't against that. All right. Now. Let's get into the talent, talent development plan. So, um, off screen, I may have actually uh, done a little bit. As in, working on some of the ultimate cards I got. Now, I only did the characters that I've already gone through. So... I guess in this, we're gonna go ahead and try out Kibo and Himiko. I already got myself an ultimate uh, Maki taken care of. I don't think I've got any ultimates from Danganronpa 1. No, not yet, but I did get a couple new supers, like Super Junko and Super Monokuma. I think I pretty much got every... Yeah, I think besides Makoto and Kyotaka, I've already got super versions of every other character. As for Danganronpa 2, still haven't got Super Hajime, but I've gotten a few other supers. Not as many as Danganronpa 1, but ironically, I've got Ultimate Usami. Not Super? Ultimate. And Monami, I've got the Super, but not the Ultimate. Huh. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. They're both the same character, but they have two different, I guess, types. Strange. So I do believe I think we're going to go ahead and start with Himiko. Alright. Oh man, whenever I was going through this off screen, I was just blown away by just how quick the stats went up. It was awesome! Okay, okay. Himiko's a mage, obviously. Not just a mage, but the ultimate mage. So I'm probably going to be giving her just a shit ton of, well, you know... If our limit wasn't five, I would give her more, but definitely going to give her some damaging spells. Maybe even... I think maybe a... No, I'm going to rely on that for Kibo. I think for her, I'm going to make her just a brutal magic attacker, and for whenever I start Kibo, I'm going to give him like a bunch of buffs and stuff. I was admitted as the ultimate magician, but I'm a mage. Don't tell me. 
Does this academy want to hide my power just like the magic castle? I don't know. Maybe? Let's find out together, Himiko. First things first. Get ourselves a dice roll. And hello, Kibo. Thank you for the stat boost. Oh, that multiplier is so good. Just two small rolls. Hey, Saiko. Or Saika. I forgot how to English for a minute. Okay. So she's going to be focusing on physical defense and fortitude. Okay. So she's actually a defensive type. Hmm. Okay. I'll work on some damaging techniques and such. Oh god, there's Monokuma. Let's just go to the event, shall we? You came across a pair of shoes you've never seen before. You try them on. Oh my god, I'm going fast! <clears throat> oh. Shit, that works. Today's the summer sports festival. You're being forced to play volleyball. Damn it, those bastards. According to the rules, you can't use magic. What in the world will you do? I guess I'll try my best. I'll leave it to my friends. Is there a non-human on the other team? Hmm. I guess I'll try my best. No, oh, of course. If you stay still, you never know when a ball's gonna come flying at your face. Amico. That's the spirit. Why don't you use your magic to throw balls as fast as cannons? Stop it. That's against the rules. Right. So you want to follow the rules? You did your best while being careful not to get hit by the ball. Oh, that was nice, I guess. A lot of red that I'm not sure I'm going to need. But I'll take it regardless. Okay. Yeah, we need to get over to the pink over there. Give me some blue! Uh, that's good to see. That's some good numbers. Alright. Big roll! Hey, Gonta. Bye, Gonta. Don't worry, we're gonna give you a route. Hey, hey. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, do you mind if I join? Yes! You're more than welcome to join us, Chucky. That's right. That's fine, right, Himiko? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Don't mind if I do, then. Wait a minute, I think... Yeah, we've already seen this one, I think. I vaguely think we've already... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already seen it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already seen it. Yep. Yep, I have already seen this, because I remember she made the, con the comment about RPG elements. Which, you know, that's fine. I just forgot how long that one was. That's, that's good. That's good stats. Oh, hey, Rantaro. Hey, Byakuya. Bye, Byakuya. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, hello, Miss Yumino. The po that pointed hat suits you well. Oh. oh, you understand the greatness of my hat? Huh. Isn't it perfect for a mage like me? Ah, uh -huh. Indeed! It lets me know your character is at a glance. It's stereotypical, but still excellent. As far as magical girls' hats go, though, it's not that cute. But I guess that's appealing, too. What are you saying? I don't really get what you're saying. But I think you're mistaken. I'm a mage. This hat is an important magical item. I can take doves out of it and stuff. Um... Doves, huh? You don't really see those as magical girl mascots that often. Everyone knows doves are a symbol of peace, but they're just not very magical girly. Okay. I'm not a magical girl. I'm a mage. Well, it's true that I'm cute. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. The fuck? What the fuck was that noise he was? Never mind. Ah, uh, stubborn. If you're going to be a magic magic character, why not be a magical girl? No. Because I'm not a magical girl. I'm just an ordinary girl who can use magic. Oh. Um. um I don't know if you're too committed to your act. Or you're just being stubborn. Perhaps you'll be. You're pretty pathetic, Miss Yumino. Cut it out. I don't want to be told that by you. 
Well, at least we got some fortitude and a shit ton of focus. That's good. Oh god. Wait a minute. That is... Yeah, that's Junko. Get away from Junko! Let me ask. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've already seen this one. You there. Ah, fuck it. I'll go through it regardless just because it's got Gundam. You there. I hear that you are declaring yourself a mage. Because I'm a mage. <laughs> I'm the ultimate mage. That's something I am proud of. Good instinct. <laughs> Interesting. I never expected to find a mage like you. Those who walk the path of magic often seclude themselves from the world to master their art. What are you saying? I don't really get what you're saying, but I can't avoid being in front of people. Because my magic is for giving them smiles. This, too, must be the will of causality. And I can never interrupt that. Hmm. Our ways of thinking are incompatible, but your faith will make your magic shine. Mm. Yeah. What are you even talking about? That's fine. Well, like everyone else, at least you get that I'm a mage. Maybe I should show you my magic show. <laughs> ha! So you will expose your arcane secrets to this immaterial insanity, Gundam Tanaka. What recklessness! I like it. I shall bear witness to your skills. Oh, yeah, I still have no idea what you're saying. Most of us don't, but we all accept it because it's freaking it's Gundam freaking Tanaka. Okay, we're already in November too. All right, large roll. Well, hey there, buddy. Whose name? I how, how the hell could I forget Nekomaru's name? I feel so freaking stupid. It's funny. I can tell their names from their from their artwork, but the moment I see their sprites, it takes me like 2.5 seconds longer to figure it out. You came to the dining hall. Let's try today's special soup. You mean the blood with the weird noodle in it? You begin to feel your body fill up with raw power. What was in that soup? Influence increased. Thank you. I needed the HP. Leave it. Gonna give me a move square? Double square card. That's good, I guess. Okay, I gotta make my... I don't have a course change card, so I better make my way over there as quickly as I possibly can. So make use of the five card and get over there. All right, blue. Thank you. Also, because I've actually gotten access to the ultimate level characters, I can now finally get past that final day, you know, the um, really, really hard test where there's like three rounds. I can finally pass it. Oh, but damn that fortitude increase. Oh god, hi, Samugi. I'll go ahead and add some green. Holy shit! That's ridiculous! <laughs> oh boy. One of these days I'll get an ultimate version of you, Ryoma. That much I promise. And our stats are looking great, except for our kind of pitiful physical defense, but our magical fortitude is... Freaking insane. Which is just fantastic. Don't listen to the explanation. I don't need it, but I will learn a new skill. And with the copious amount that I've got, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a upgraded absorb focus. And this time, I think I'm going to give her maybe fog or something. Or intellect up could actually work too. Since she's got pretty damn high fortitude, I think that could probably work. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Oh, wait, I could give her a drop rate up. That way we can get more materials and shit. You know what? Why not? I'd probably give her, like, a maxed out, like, wind jet and... Let's see. Okay, well, we'll figure it out whenever we get all that stuff. I'm just gonna be focused on giving her blue and green. So, just... Beat the shit out of everybody. Oh, Kokichi and Angie. Hm, that's not a bad combination, I think. And, you know what? Let's go and give a strength up to Ryoma. Even though it's not going to be needed. Because Kokichi just pretty much decimated them. Jesus. Nice. 
Oh well, made it for, made it past the first semester year thing. Yeah. Whatever. Alrighty, to the talent segment. You need a lot of stuff for the mages. Oh God, hi Monokuma. Well, I didn't make it to you, but I should be fine. Jesus, thank you. Oh, there's two murderers. Well, one of them is not really the murderer, it's more like her personality is, but by proxy that technically makes her the... I'm just gonna shut up now. It's probably better that I do. Now the question remains. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I was gonna go the long way around, but realistically I don't have a course change card, so I can't really take that risk. Which is good. It's good. Can I go? No, I can't go that way. That's a shame. Hey, Akane. Oh, thank you for the agility boost. Grant us more blue. Thank you. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. Well, at least they didn't try to screw me over with a, six, with a uh, surgery without a success card. Actually, I only just now realized. How much would a sur... I think... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I've seen what a surgery does to a maxed out unit. Oh well. Okay. Now let's stack up some green. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Okay, you better not score. Okay, you know what? Give me a big roll. Okay, good. Landed on a double. Again. Okay, land me some green. Those are some good numbers right there. Oh god. No. I do not have the success card. I am not risking it. Maybe on another run, but not this run. I'd probably have to be off screen, but yeah. Grant me the green! Oh! Today is the school fall school festival. Obviously, you'll perform a magic show. It's almost time for your show to start. How will you spend the next few minutes? Um... I'm not nervous, but I'll take a deep breath. Hey, you, what are you doing? Let me help peek at the guests. Um... You know what? Let's see what this one is. Oh my god, no! 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 <laughs> not her! Anybody but her! You there, what are you doing? Squish! Squish! There we go! Wait! Hey, what are you doing to my magic implements? Huh? Looks like you caught me. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd help decorate for the delusional girl who's obsessed with magic. Because I'm a mage. Of course I'm obsessed with magic. I'm a mage after all. Gross. Jeez, that's so lame. It gave me goosebumps. You think that's that crap's okay because you look young? Cut it out. I'll use my magic to reflect that comment back at you. Okay. Give me back my magic implement and go back to your seat. I'll bring you lots of smiles with my magic. Huh. Hm. If you bore me, then I'll make you flip all your organs backwards as an apology. Jesus Christ! Ugh. You are a vile little girl. You took back your magic implements from Hyoko and had a successful show. Good. Rubber face in it! Damn, that's a lot of blue, though. Nice. All right. And even more. Oh, hey, Gundam. Don't worry. One day I'll get an ultimate version of you. And then the real party will begin. Okay. Let us move further. And get even more. Hi, Kirumi. Uh, we don't need the one move card. We should be fine. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and stack up some more blue. Getting a lot of blue and green here. But you know what? That's good. But that's not good. There's a Monokuma. Where's a wild Monokuma over there? Okay, let's go and use a double square. Now. Ah, uh, Well, we'll get our double square back.
You got the idea of writing a message in a bottle. What will you write? A cry for help on a deserted island. A message to a potential lover. Let's do that one. Looking for love with a message in a bottle in the internet age? That's pretty cool. Shortly after sending out the bottle, you got a reply from someone overseas. You exchanged a few letters, but that's about it. Still, you made good memories. Luck increased. Oh, holy shit! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Oh, fuck! It's damn good. Oh, hi, Hajime. Sorry we still don't have your, uh, super or your ultimate, but don't worry, we'll get it soon. Uh, fill up with more blue, please. Damn, though, that's a lot. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and roll low, just because I don't want to risk getting on the despair square, and it paid off. Good lord, did it pay off! Whew! Alright. I think we've got enough to give her some damn good skills. First off, let's go ahead and max out that. And, let's see. I'm not really seeing anything that could actually affect the whole party. Increases damage when influence is full. Defense up, that's a guess. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get a maxed out drop rate. Okay. Increased chance of obtaining materials. Yes, that'll be very, very effective, I believe. And, <clears throat> hmm. Resurrect one ally. Now that should be fine. Um, should I give her, like, barrier magic or something? I do want her to be able to attack, though. Um, shit. I could give her electric paralyze, or I could, yeah, I could just give her, like, a maxed out electric paralyze, I think. Nope. How far would I be able to get this? I could max that out! Alright, and I think... We will also... I think we should also go ahead and give her, like, maybe... Hmm. You know what? I could give her, like, Electric Barrier, maybe. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should also try to test out the Intellect Up. See how, like, effective that can turn out. That's what I think. Maybe I should try out next. Yeah, I know the exam's gonna be a little bit harder, but hey, guess what? I'm pretty sure that Himiko would be able to one-shot them. Actually, I'm pretty sure everybody would be able to do a damn good job beating the shit out of all these guys. Electric Paralyze! That's not bad. Shit. Okay, fine. Just go on the offensive and just beat the shit out of this damn hermit. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I know, I passed. Thank you very much. Now we can get on to leveling her up and making her strong as possible. All right, time for the normal course. This will be rather easy, I think. Good start, good start. Hey, Hajime. Yeah, that's pretty good. The intellect is pretty damn low, but, you know, we'll work with what we got. Okay. Roll a four? Damn it. That's fine, that's fine. Hey, Kaede. Good. All right. And another big roll. Hot damn. That's some good stuff right there. All right. Move on further. Hello, Pecco. Got the straight card again. You know what? I think I'm going to utilize that straight card. Nope, don't care. And that's... Okay, I guess that's not bad. I'll discard one of the three move cards because I probably don't need it. Alright, large move. Now, can I go the alternate route? I'm pretty sure I can. I can probably use two straight cards, take advantage of that. 
I'll be able to cover at such a larger distance, I think. And get a double level up in the process. Yeah! Okay, now I'm going to use my six card. So I can get this double score over here. Grant me green! Thank you. Then as soon as I get over here, I'll go ahead and use another straight card. Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. This is the third year, but... Uh, you know what? I may as well. <sighs> I probably won't be able to make it, though, now that I realize it. Well, I mean, at least I can try, I guess. Oh! Your last winter at the Academy. You decided to perform a magic show for Christmas. You should do be well prepared for the main event. What will you start with? I can't use magic if I'm hungry. That's probably Teru Teru or Kurumi, maybe. <sighs> May as well start preparing. Ah! Himiko, how's the stage looking? Is it alright? Hmm. Hmm. It's fine. Himiko! Himiko, how are the preparations for your magic show magic going? Anything I can help you with? No. <clears throat> no, not really. Only a mage can prepare for a magic show. Himiko? Himiko, are you nervous? Is there any way I can cheer you up? Uh... Yeah, that's my line! Why are you more nervous than me? <gasps> how can you tell? I'm just so happy that I got to help you! Okay? If you want to help me, then calm down! To use big spells like this, I gotta focus! I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! I won't get in the way of your big spells! <sighs> I made you mad, but I'm a little happy! Right! You're showing me way more expressions than you did in the beginning! And you're only like this to me! No. No? I'm like this to others, too. Yeah! You could have just said it was me! Jeez, oh, you're always so weird. Aww. Eh? Right. Here you go. You smiled more like I made you smile just now. Ah! Oh god, your smile was so it was just too cute! What? What? Don't over exaggerate just because I smiled a little. I can't always be serious. Um. I'm still happy. Please show me your smile from now on. I'd be pleased with any other emotion, too. You're right. I know. I'll be sure to show you, so let's get back to preparing, Tango. Yes! Ah! You work together to prepare for your magic show. Ah, uh, Himiko noticed her little stalker. I just realized that came out, that came out wrong. No, that came out accurate. What the hell am I thinking? More events! Unless it's just the mono cubs. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. All done praying. I can hear Atua loud and clear today, too. Eh, how passionate. Do you want to pray with me, Himiko? Prayer time. It will make put your mind at ease. No. No, oh, I don't need that. I see. I see. So you still can't feel Atua's presence yet? It'll be okay. I will play for you, so your mind can be cleansed and you can feel Atua's loving embrace. Hmm. If you want to think that way, then I won't stop you. Right, you. You are correct not to stop me, because Atua is always correct. Hmm. Did Atua tell you to pray for me? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? You. It wasn't even your choice. Atua has hmm. spoken. Atua has spoken. He says I must pray for my friend. If my friend converts, then both she and I will receive double the points and double the orgies. What was that last part? Nothing. Yeah, that's a deal. So divine. Right, right. It's divine, isn't it? Ugh. God, her fortitude is so freaking high. Is she just a super defense tank or something? more um uh, where was it mm -hmm. did you need something from me Yo. nah I just thought I've seen you before I usually forget any weakling who looks too feeble for me but something's bothering me hey have we met before we came to the school What? 
Isn't that question usually reserved for running scams and picking up girls? Whatever. Oh, whatever. I gotta go prepare for my magic show. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. You do all the tricks in the magic show. It's magic. It's a magic show because I do magic. No tricks. <laughs> I've gone to one of your free shows before with the little ones. What was that? Your kids? Yo. My brothers and sisters. I think I have seven or eight of them. My god, my parents are crazy. Hmm. I see. One of my shows. And... Um, were your brothers and sisters happy? <laughs> oh, they were yelling like crazy during the whole show. The only time we got that excited is when there's food in front of us. Hmm. I see. I'm glad. Let me know when you do more free tricks. I'll bring the little ones with me. It's magic. <clears throat> It was a charity magic show because I did magic for charity, not tricks for charity. Yo! Okay, okay. Are you charging for a show today? You better eat up since you're small, squirt. <clears throat> God. Please. That's none of your business. Ah. Uh... Well, thank you for the, the further magic defense boost and agility. Good lord. Leave it to me. Okay, what is it? A five move card that's pretty much useless to me because this is pretty much my last dice roll. You know what? May as well just go to the event. And we got higher intellect for it, that's good. Ever since you performed a seance, you've been seeing strange things. What do you do? Say a prayer you heard in a movie. The power of Christ compels you! Jesus. The ghost vanished. Intellect increased. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's okay, though. We missed the last test, but that's not a big deal. That's no big deal. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, hmm. We should probably go ahead and give her some skills. Let's see. I can give her, like, a max... I can give her, like, a pretty high-level ice freeze, but I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. I could give her, like, electric power up. I don't think I've got enough for intellect up. Which is over here, because I'm a, I'm a doofus. Hmm. No, I can't really get it that high. <sighs> Let's see. We have to give her a sword stab. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Hmm. Nope. I don't think I can give her any maxed out anything. Oh! I can give her that, though! Hmm. Uh... You know, since we gave her electric, let's go ahead and give her, like, electric barrier. You know, why not? And for the other skill, I think I can just go ahead and give her, like... Hmm. Let's... Yeah, that can work. There we go. That's pretty good, I personally think. It's not it's not bad. It could be better, but it's something. Which means now we get to go on to Kibo and work on him. Hmm. Even though this academy didn't acknowledge me as a mage, I increased my magic powers here. And thus, Himiko Yumino graduated from Hope's Peak Academy. Good. Oh, and by the way, I guess another thing we're going to try to attempt in this video is we are going to try to take on the, um... We're going to see how far we can get in the new dungeon. Maybe, like, floor 60? Maybe, maybe... Actually, no, wait! Before we do that, we need to take on the freaking, uh, Exosols. So, we're going to max... We're going to do another ultimate character run. With Kibo! And we are going to take on both the Exosols that I saw previously. Logical. I'm honored to be accepted as a student here. I hope I don't encounter any robophobes. I... Don't think you will. I think everything should be fine. Okay. Now, for Kibo, I'm definitely going to make him less of a battle-ready character and, uh... less of a despair-inducing one. God damn it. 
And I'm going to try to focus on giving him, like, heals and buffs. Mostly. Hi, Kokichi. Sorry I didn't land on your square. Let me guess. Shrunk, of course! But hey, the defense is worth it. Even if I'm not a fan of, like, losing the amount of... What could potentially be good... Oh god, anybody but you, Hyoko! But at least you gave me a... <gasps> An imposter! Beat the shit out of him! Go, Kibo! But they say you're the imposter! Sneak attack! You defeated them! Oh, good. Some physical strength wouldn't hurt. Okay, come on. Land me on Monokuma. I'm not gonna make it. But at least I made it to Sonya. Hello, Sonya! You got a package from an online shop, but you don't remember ordering anything. Ask the others, I guess? Hey, look, it's your son! With the help of the model cubs, you gather information. It turns out you were accidentally sent something another student ordered. You were able to return the package to its rightful owner. Well done! And even more fortitude. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make you a party buffer, I think. Not really much focusing on attacks, but definitely give you, like, you know, stat bonuses and shit like that. Today is the sports festival, and you're gonna play soccer. What position will you play? Uh... I shall try the forward position. I will mount a solid defense. Perhaps I would be a decent goalie? Let's try that. Oh god. What? The hell? what? A robot? Are you serious? What is it? Do you have a problem with that? Because I will not tolerate any robophobia. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Shut the hell up! Hey, come on. I bet you transform and have a rocket booster leg and stuff. Isn't that unfair? That is extremely robophobic. Hey! Where did you get that idea about me? I don't have any functions like that. You fervently explain just how average your athletic abilities really are, even though you technically have the constitution of an old man. Red that I'm not going to need. Oh, hi, Samugi. Don't really care. And hello, Toko. Okay. Okay, that works. Not too much of a dramatic stat change as I was expecting. But since I got a course change card, I can take advantage, full advantage of this route. Well then. Oh, goody. All right, let's figure out what function I should jam into you next. Thank you very much. One of my favorite ships. Miu, I appreciate you setting aside time for me. The world is always vying for my time. You should be grateful I'm spending it on you. That being said... Anyway, I've been doing some thinking and... You don't have the ability to cry, do you? Yes. I don't. I believe if I could cry, I would be able to understand the concept of sadness more fully. Booyah! Well, that settles it. I'm gonna give you a full-fledged crying function. Really? Really? Oh, I'm so grateful to hear that. Hey! Notice how my head hoagie has sprung up immediately. But instead of salt water, how about I fill your tear ducts with juice or tea? I fucking roll! I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mechamaru has already got that. Then I can grab a drink whenever I'm feeling parched. Hoo-ya! I'm a genius today. Oh, but, Miu, those would not be real tears. Plus, I am unable to consume food, so I wouldn't benefit from a function like that at all. What? What? But it was such an awesome idea. Oh, did, did, did you maybe want some nasty fluids to come out of your eyes instead? Please stop! A absolutely not! I would get in so much trouble in, if that kind of stuff came out of my eyes. Huh? Jeez, what are you being such a buzzkill for? Or some other function you want? Yes. Yes, will you hear me out? Yes. Wait, you're serious? What sort of function did you have in mind? X-ray vision? Big ol' pistons? That's... N no, actually... I'd like to be able to give optimal massages for an extended period of time. My father, Professor Idabashi, is always so focused on his research, but sometimes he works himself too hard, so I was hoping I could help relieve some of his stress. Booyah! In other words, a function that'll help you get him and end his days on a, ha on a happy note. Got it. What is it? I, I do not know what you are getting at, but I have a very bad feeling about this. You understand that I'm talking about normal back massages, right? Right? <laughs> Don't 
Don't worry. Just leave it to me. I'll give you a massage function that'll go down in history. I have a very bad feeling about this. Is this the emotion known as complete butter bullshit fear? A, mas a massage function has been added to Kibo. Okay. And I got an intellect and influence boost because of that. Sure, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Oh, hey, look, there's Monami. But let's not talk to her. Let's just go to the first one, I guess. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> well. There was a reaction I wasn't expecting. Or an interaction, sorry. Kyoko, you are also the ultimate detective, right? Indeed. Yes. I'm the same as Shuichi from your class. That's... Having two ultimate level detectives in one school is like something out of a story. So... A video game, perhaps. I've met many teenage detectives who have na made a name for themselves. Huh? M many detectives? R really? Indeed. Yes. It's not so rare. Of course, most of the other detectives are adults. I see. I must reevaluate my understanding of the depth and scope of the detective industry. Please. If it's not too much trouble, will you tell me more about detectives? Why is that? What do you plan to do with that sort of knowledge? Hmm. Well, I've only ever met two detectives, you and Shuichi, so naturally I am curious. By the way, Shuichi told me that he used to help with his uncle's detective firm. Did you have a similar opportunity in which you were introduced to detective work? It's true. There's nothing that I can really say about that. I was born a detective. Which means? You mean like how I was born a robot? Well, I don't know about that. As I thought. That being said, if you were born a detective, you must have been involved in many cases. Is that right? That's not true. I'm not as skilled as others who can solve multiple cases at once. Huh? The, there are detectives who can do that? The detective industry is truly amazing. It's true. Even among detectives, each of us have different logic, investigation skills, and specialties. Specialty? In other words... There are many different specialties. Terrorism, kidnapping, gambling, even hacking. I understand. Hmm, how fascinating. I should ask Shuichi if he has a specialty. Uh, by the way, what's your specialty, Kyoko? Okay, um, homicide. I... You know, I wasn't honestly expecting it to be right. Okay. Homicide. Huh? Th huh? Hey. Are you satisfied yet? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So you're an expert on homicide. I can't even begin to imagine the things you've seen. This is... Incredible. I feel like you're worlds apart from the rest of humanity. Whew. I really don't want to hear that from a robot. <laughs> Damn, though. Well, I guess it makes sense that his agility would not be that high. It looks like he's going to be a high fortitude unit, kind of like Himiko. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, if only I landed on... Oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> Okay. There you are, Monokuma. Oh? Ah, what do you two obsolete models? I mean, what do you two want? You stupid brother! Mimi, who are you calling obsolete? Listen closely. I just caught that robophobic remark on tape. I will definitely reprimand you today. Huh? Hmm? What do you mean? You're so evil. Don't play dumb. You're always so abusive toward me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think I've ever heard Monami laugh like that. But it ends today. I won't put up with it anymore. And another thing. Am I abusive to you? I forgot. Hey! Don't copy Monotaro. Monokuma, why do you abuse Monami? Robot on robot abuse is not funny. I know you love your cubs. Why can't you show your little sister the same love? Um, um I'm not actually his little sister. Listen closely. And that goes for you too, Monami. Huh? Huh? Me? Incomprehensible. Don't you think you should have reported Monokuma's mistreatment much sooner? Oh, wait a minute. Are we in a trial right now? What did that happen? I didn't mean to make this such a big deal. Well, well it's not going to become a big deal, so don't worry about it. There's no reason to take any of this to court. This is between you, me, and Kibo. Hey! Hey, don't group me in with you stuffed animals. Hey! Robot on robot abuse? <laughs> what the shit? Oh, that's, that's, oh, Jesus. 
That's a huge strength boost. Holy crap. I mean, good lord, I'll take it, but Christ. All right. Huh? Oh! Hey, are you the ultimate robot? Yeah. Yes, I am. May I help you? Hey! Hey, let me see. Uh -huh. huh. What the? You're too close. Please stop. <clears throat> hey, do not touch me. Do you have, do you touch all your classmates without their permission? This or do you think it's because I'm, it's okay because I'm a robot? Because that's robophobia, do you know? Hey, hey. You, <gasps> you're amazing. Hey. Are you even listening to me? Huh? Wait, amazing? Of course. <laughs> yeah, you're amazing. It looks like you've got a bunch of weird functions, but they're all crammed into your body. Hey, hey, how are you powered? Um. Uh, are you curious about me? Awesome. Hell yeah, I am. You're way too interesting. Uh, uh, oh my. This is the first time anyone has ever understood just how incredible I am. Hey, what about me, you? If I had the ability to cry, I would be weeping twin waterfalls of joy right now. For God's sakes, you could have just had the, that function installed if you weren't so picky about the freaking soda function. Hey, can I take you apart? Come on, just a little. What is it? Huh? Right. It's okay. I can put you back together. Probably. Huh? Huh? Engines revving. And even if I can't, I'm sure I'd be able to turn you into a, s a cool jetpack or something. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Kimo, get out of there. No, no, thank you. Please don't come anywhere near me. <laughs> what the shit? Okay. Wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god, it's Genocide Jack. Jill, show, whatever the hell you guys pronounce her name. Very nice. Ah, I guess that was the end of his events. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Those were all fun. Now I can focus on his stats and shit. Wait a minute. Damn it. I was hoping I'd have a one card, but I guess I don't. So let's just go ahead and get ourselves some green. I mean, it's Yasuhiro Hagakure. Who says he hasn't smoked weed? Probably got a lot of that on him. Oh, don't worry. I may be able to go into the spare course, but guess what? I can skip it. Because I've got the power of a course change card. Bye bye, despair course. <laughs> well. Oh god. It's also equally despairful to run into Manosuke. Yeah, that's pretty good. Could be better, could be worse. All right, now let's get ourselves some talent fragments. It looks like we're on that type, so this actually works pretty well because I was. I got another course change card, good. Okay, good. But this time I don't. Whoops. Nope, don't care. What do you got for me? Uh, I mean, I'll take it, but not really what I wanted. Actually, you know what? No, I need to save that in case I run into Monokuma. So, let's see. Yeah, this will work. Oh my god, that works so well. I wonder if there's like a limit to how many talent fragments you can get. If I had to take a guess, considering I can go over 199, I'm guessing the limit must be like 999. Oh, lordy loo, that was great. That's also good. Hi, Monami. And I got a double move card, which I can go ahead and get rid of the goodbye card. Because I'm not really needing it. All right. This works out pretty damn well. And even more double the power. Give me more green. Oh. I should probably go ahead and give him some blue too. That way I can go ahead and give him another double square card. Okay. Yeah. That works. Okay. Let's go and make our way downtown. Walk it. I didn't want to go that way. There we go. All right. Plenty of green. Now I can go ahead and get started getting the blue. Today is the school festival. Many students have set up exhibits to display their research. 
As the ultimate robot, you have decided to put yourself on display. A guest has arrived at your exhibit. How will you greet them? Feast your eyes on the ultimate robot. Feast your eyes on my detailed functions. Feast your eyes on me. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Kazuichi. Uh. Shuichi, maybe? Or maybe one of these has got to be me, but I'm not entirely sure which. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this I did not see coming. What is it? What is it? Are you not impressed? Figures. I'm often told that I am surprisingly normal for a robot. Listen. On the contrary, I've already evaluated you. Huh? Huh? In other words... Your identity as the ultimate robot cannot be imitated. You are truly one of a kind. That's... R really Such high praise makes me feel somewhat bashful. Rejoice. You're the one who arranged this exhibit for everyone to marvel at you. You're proud to be yourself, right? Then stand tall and hold your head up high. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you'd like, I could tell you many th more things about myself. Byakuya listened while you told him about everything that makes you an amazing robot. You know what? I never thought I would find myself liking that arrangement. Those characters. I did not think I would like that, but I liked it. Huh. That was pretty good. And we are rolling a lot of sixes, what the shit? Maybe I should go to the casino sometime. Ah, oh, damn it, there goes my streak. Well, like the casino, eventually you lose, because you get cocky. Okay, <clears throat> to the encounter. Make our way over to freaking June. No, not you! Ugh. Huh? I guess give it a spin. Oh wait, I got a straight card. That's actually useful for me. Never mind. Huh? The bottle of mineral water came out. It's not a great prize, but let's drink it. Focus increased. Thank you. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm probably going to land on this. Yep, I landed on the despair square. <sighs> okay. And straight card. We may as well take over the uh, second exam. It'll just give us points, so we may as well take advantage of it. All right. And our final roll, we shall go with a big roll. I know I'm kind of saving the double squares for later, even though I should have been using them. All right, this should be good enough. I can go ahead and give him a maxed out healing skill too. All right. Uh, should I? Oh, shit. I did not think this through. I mean... Hmm. Oh, duh. Absorb focus will always come first. And... Hmm. If I had more blue, I could get him, like, a maxed out energize to affect the whole party. Defense up would be pretty good. Hmm. You know what? Why not? It's better than nothing, I think. And... Hmm. Increased defense defending. Eh, endurance up would be pretty good. Alright. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, I can't really do much there, but I can make him do physical attacks. And we got Miu on our team, too. And a level 99 Himiko. And, yeah, strength up on Ryoma. You might as well give this little pipsqueak a real powered up summer rain fist. Jesus. That works! Alright, we made it through that map. Now we can go on to the next map. Or, er, course. Okay, from this, pretty damn high physical strength. And very high fortitude, too. Not really the stats I'm hoping for, but he will be able to do at least some attacks. So there's some good news to be had there. Alright. 
Let's start off strong by going with a big roll. So, double move. We want to get to the level up squares as fast as we possibly can. You know, the double ones. Okay. Which means I'm going to have to go this way. You know what? I'll take it. Alright. Alrighty. Another six. Good. Well. No. What do you got? A <sighs> goodbye card. I don't want it. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Kaede. Hi, Ibuki. Now, can I go that way? To get myself some good stats? Yes! The long way around we go! With mono cubs and a hide, I don't care. Okay. Now, we should probably go ahead and get our hands on, um... Yeah, let's go and use a double square here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the event, regardless of what I get, will give me a pretty good stat bonus. Hopefully. Let's play the stock market. Which company stocks will you buy? Uh, Toa Group. Stocks in the Toa Group should be safe. Let's buy some. But suddenly, the company's president has a scandal. Stock prices plummeted. Good thing it happened before you bought any stock. Fortitude increased. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I probably could do a course change card, see how that plays out. Hmm. Or maybe I shouldn't. Well, let's see what happens. I'll just keep on going through this, get myself some good stats, and then what do you get me, Fuyuhiko? Hi, jump card! You know what? I'm gonna use that. When it becomes December. And hi there, Gundam! Hey there, best buddy. Give me an encounter card, too. Thanks, man. Alright. Now let's go and use a high jump card. Let's see where this takes us. And... Jump! Back there. That was a dick move. Your last winter at the academy. The monocub has suggested that you cl all clean the school. Where will you clean first? I'll have my body cleaned first. I'll start with the gym since it's a bit. Okay, that's gotta be Miu. Uh. Called it! Called it! All done. I bet your body feels much better now that I've given a good clean, huh? Yeah. Yes, thank you. I feel quite refreshed now. You are definitely my go-to person for maintenance. Thank you for taking such good care of me these past three years. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right! It's about time you showed me some appreciation. That's right. I do appreciate you. That's why I'm sad I won't be able to ask you for your services anymore. Huh? Huh? Well, why the hell not? You're saying there's someone out there better than me? Well... N no, that's not it. It's just... We're all graduating soon. Huh? Fuck graduation! Are you saying you don't want to serve me to service you anymore? I also... I mean, I would love it if someone as skilled as you could perform maintenance on me. Fucking moron! Then why don't you move in with me? Huh? R really? <laughs> I mean, I'll help you, but I'm not gonna bust my ass coming to you to do it, you know? Yes. Yes, of course. I am the one who requires your services after all. <laughs> Good! If I'm getting my hands dirty, then you gotta make damn sure you know your place. Well then. Then, is it alright of me to ask you to continue servicing me? Slugs. You think I'd reject you? I'm the one who likes to be toyed with and rejected after all. Thank you very much. Miu, thank you so much. I look forward to your care and service in the years to come. Ah. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm looking forward to it too. Looks like you have a bright future full of top-notch maintenance waiting for you. By the way, why are you naked? Bitch, don't question me. Okay. Okay, um, come on, course change. Ay, caramba. You know damn well that's not what I wanted. I hate you. And I, of course, Hio goes on the... Ay, ay, ay. A zero move card, yes, because I want to use a zero move card on a damn despair square! 
Okay, just let's just go and use our course change card again and hope for the best. I guess that's good enough. Well, we didn't make it to the goal, but we should be fine. Okay. His physical defense is not that good, but his physical attack power is good. Okay, so in that regard, I guess I could give him a sword stab or something like that. I don't know. Damn it, I'm not maxed out. Can't level that up. And I could just go ahead and give him a healing skill while I'm at it. And one physical attack in case he needs to do a physical attack. Well, he's kind of a, what's the term, a thaumaturge? But, I don't know. I think it's better than nothing. Well, now let's see how far, let's go see if we can take care of those yes. exosols. I backed up all my cherished memories of the last three years into my memory bank. And thus, Kibo graduated from Hope's Peak Academy. Good. Good on you, buddy. All right. No, I do want to quit. Because now we're going to go take on Monokuma's test. Okay. I think we should be pretty good with the team we've got right now. But, you know what? I think I can probably switch out quarter Q. Just, actually, you know what? I do need Cord. Mm. Shit. Hmm. Well, that's right. I did do an ultimate variation for Kaede. So this one's significantly a better Kaede. And unfortunately, because I don't have an ultimate Cora Q, I think I'm going to go ahead and swap him out with... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and swap him out with Himiko. So, let's see. We got a maxed out blind, so that's pretty good. I don't have any... Uh, shit. I just realized I would need poison, so I should probably keep Cora Q. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and keep him. All right. Let's just hop ourselves into the dungeon and get to those damn exosols. Okay, as you can see, I've got our ultimate supreme leader, Kokichi Oma. An ultimate assassin with the most ridiculously high amount of influence I think I've ever seen. Hey, well, it's Korakiyu. And we got an ultimate version of Akaede, who has significantly better skills right now. So she can, I figured out what Energize does. It basically boosts the speed of the Awakening Gauge, which is... Fucking fantastic. And I got a maxed out blind. Everybody's got absorbed focus maxed out except for Kora Q, which once I get an ultimate Kora Q, I will make a significantly better version of, you know, Kora Q. And, well, let's give this damn thing a shot. Exosol Yellow. All right. First things first, let's go ahead and use, let's go and test out its physical defense first. So I'm going to go ahead and use Sword Stab. I'm going to also poison it and see if I can blind it. Holy shit, that damage! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, poison didn't work. How about blind? No? Really? Uh-oh. Okay, defend, 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 defend. Everybody, prepare yourselves! Well, fuck off. Okay, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Energize all allies, please. This will be good. Give us a better, uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God. Thank goodness this is... Okay, thank goodness he missed. Okay, wind jet. Uh, let's go ahead and do an awakening sword stab. Um, try curse this time. And... I'll go ahead and use energize on core key while I'm at it. Go, Maki! 
Holy shit, that damage! <sighs> Immune to pretty much any ailment, it would appear. <sighs> Wind jet! <laughs> oh, these exosols mean nothing to me now. Ultimate maid proof. Ultimate magician proof. That you made ultimate mage. Ultimate tennis pro proof. Ultimate detective proof. Now here's the question. Is that one for Shuichi or is that one for uh, Kyoko? Ultimate inventor proof. Ultimate artist proof. Ultimate entomologist proof. And ultimate and... Oh, we finally got Korakiyos. Okay. What's so good about his? Okay, high intellect and high focused. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that, you know, Gaunt Gontas would raise his attack and defense. Yeah. Ooh, that one's pretty good. But none of them are as... Oh, that's... Yeah. Okay, I think everybody's pretty good at the moment. Alright, what's this up here? Two... 20,000! Okay, you know what? If I can defeat the Exosols that quickly, in that case, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it to the 60th floor boss while I'm at it. And then I'll be grinding off screen while I'm at it. So I'm going to see you guys in a little bit as I basically wreck all these fools for daring to challenge me in the, you know, just for pissing me off, I guess. All right, let's take on this Exosol. Exosol Green. All righty. Right off the bat, what I definitely want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use Wing Jet. Use Sword Stab. Attempt some form of poison. And just go straight up. Just go balls to the wall. Energize. Okay. Okay. Get everybody nice and energized. Wind Jet. Alrighty. You know what? Let's just go balls to the wall and just completely destroy him. Now, oh, shit. Oh well. Um. Absorb focus? Go, Maki! Go, Korakiyu! That's good. Ow! Oh my god, Kokichi! Oh, you son of a bitch. I was not prepared for him to attack Kokichi, and I was not prepared for Kokichi to fucking die on me. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay, let's just try to kill him before it's too late. Hopefully. Maybe I should have had Kokichi defending. Nope, never mind. Beat him. 5,000 G. Sorry, Kokiji buddy. We're just gonna drag your lifeless corpse around with us. Hope you don't mind about that. I'm pretty sure you don't mind. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. All right. What kind of reward do we got here? 20,000 G. Ultimate assassin proof. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. All right. What does the ultimate assassin proof do? Oh yeah, I'm equipping that. Ultimate Survivor Proof. Okay. What does that do? Just radically increase, looks like it just increases HP and focus. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. And 20,000 more G, alrighty. Let's escape the dungeon. Save. And then head back down. Mm, I should probably switch out Korakiyu now and get, um, Kibo out here. He should be okay, I think. Um, I'm going to try it. Anyway, let's head on down. 
Okay. Let's see if we can take on the Floor 60 boss. Oh. I only now realize I should probably go ahead and give him some equipment first. <sighs> okay. Well, I didn't run into any more Exosols, but we made it here. Okay. I think everybody is pretty up to speed at the moment. I think with all the items that I gave Kibo, he should be proving... He should prove to be extremely useful, I personally think. He can, he can act as a healer, he can deal some damage, and he can absorb focus, and he has endurance up too, which, you know, makes it to where he can avoid status ailments. So I think he should be pretty good. Although, now that I think about it, I think whenever it comes to later floors, I think I'm gonna have to rechange all of the characters to where they have endurance up. I'm thinking. Also, the fog skill made traveling around here a lot easier. Oh, what the? This thing again? Oh, Monokuma Sect V3. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just beat the shit out of it. Should prove to be quite easily uh, easy, I think. And let's go ahead and use Energize. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, high speed! Was not prepared for that! Um... Oh, fuck. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Recover influence, everybody, please. Ah! Oh my god, Kibo survived. Okay, yeah, this guy's gonna be a little bit tougher. Because I'm an idiot. Come on, Kogiji. Oh yeah, that works. Okay. All right, with the Energize, this makes it, this should help out immensely. Okay, um, yeah, another sword stab. Okay, I'm gonna try blind. Unless this kills it. No, it's still, it is still alive. Oh my god, this one has significantly more HP than I was expecting. Oh my god, it ha it's susceptible to ailments. Thank fucking lord. I... Okay. And energize war off. Okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, no, I'm gonna have to use Absorb Focus this time, and Recover Influence on Kaede, and, uh, Energize the team again. Fuck! Okay, so we're gonna- oh! Well. I mean, at least he's dead. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is not fun. Okay. 2,000, 4,500, 3,500, 1,000, 2,000, Hacking Gun 3, 1,500. What does Hacking Gun 3 do? I think I already know, but I'm just gonna check again. Increases intellect by 140%! Holy sweet mother of... That's a lot of damage. Mm, no, I don't want to give it to... Ah, uh, shit. Well, looks like I'm gonna be spending some time grinding off screen. Oh, first thing. Wait. No! I gotta activate the elevator first. No, not yet. Give me the death rank bonus. Okay, now nah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay, like like usual, off screen I'm going to grind. This time now that I've got Himiko in the... Hey, now we're up to 10% rank for the ultimate rank. 
I also picked up one super ticket while I was at it. But... Okay. That's a good, that's good. Um... I'm probably going to have Himiko on the team because she's got the drop rate up, so I'll be able to get more materials, have Celeste as well, but probably rely mostly on Maki to deal, like, the larger significant amounts of damage. But now, please, I am begging you, give me something. No ultimate there. Come on. You know you want to give me an ultimate Ryoma. I already have an ultimate Gonta. I appreciate the... I, can, I appreciate it. But no. I already have an ultimate tango, please. I just want Ryoma. That's all I'm asking. Is it is it that much to ask to want to do a Ryoma video? Oh! Holy shit! Ultimate Korakiyu and Ultimate Miyu! Well, shit! Okay, guess I know what I'm doing off screen. And Ultimate Shuichi as well. Nice. Come on, just give me ultimate Ryoma. I don't want to waste all my points here. But it looks like that's kind of what's going to happen. Who knows, I might end up getting all the... Hey, now I got ultimate Kirumi. Nice. Please. I just want ultimate Ryoma. I'll take the extra Kokichi, but for God's sake, would it... Please, that's all I'm asking. I hate you. I hate you so much. Just give me an ultimate... Freaking Ryoma. Oh! Ultimate Rantaro. This game is doing everything in its power to ignore Ryoma because he know the game knows, the game knows that Ryoma is one of my favorite characters in this goddamn game. And it's doing it intentionally. It is doing it intentionally and it's pissing me the fuck off! <sighs> it gave me a super Ryoma, but it's not what I wanted! <sighs> I hate you. I hate you so freaking much. It is giving me all the other ultimates, but no. Apparently because I personally like Ryoma. No, you're not allowed to get an ultimate Ryoma. Uh-uh. No. No, not at all. Oh, for God's sake, please. Uh, this game is taunting me, people. It's freaking taunting me, and I don't like it. Why do you hate me so much? What did I do to deserve this hate? Oh. Well. I got an ultimate Kaito. Nice. Now, would you be so kind as to give me ultimate Ryoma? Please? Why do you hate me? Ugh. This game hates me. I'm convinced. It knows I want Ryoma. Holy fucking Luya. Okay, guys. Well, the next video is, it's time we finally get into the ultimate prisoner or the ultimate tennis pro, whatever. It's finally time we do a damn video with Ryoma. About goddamn time! Okay, okay. Now, let's see if we can get an ultimate here. No, but we got three supers. Super Usami, Super Peko Peko, and Super Izuru. Okay. I knew if I ranted long enough, it would finally give me the damn ultimate Ryoma. That's what I fucking wanted. Okay. Finally. Now I've got two Perma Party members. Kokichi and Ryoma. Finally. It took this fucking long, and it intentionally did that to piss me off. So... If you guys like this, be sure to let me know. I'm going to go now try to go off screen and create a Super Core Q version of the Core Q that I currently have. See how that goes. So, if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. God, that was a headache. <laughs>